53 and a half kilogram light welterweight division. Making his way towards the boxing ring is the 15th ranked boxer in the world, Ruslan Abdullayev. Abdullayev from right here in Uzbekistan, contesting his sixth contest on Tashkent 2023, just 20 years of age. First appearance at a senior IBA World Championship. And now, please help me welcome his opponent and championship finest for the elite men's welterweight title. Fighting out of the blue corner, Emekte Urukte OK Mongolia, Chenzorik Batan So His opponent out of the blue corner is the experienced figure. Shinzarik Bartasu, 31 years of age, he too competing in his sixth bout of Tashkent 2023. In this gold medal bout, plenty of support in the house for him. It's his fourth appearance at an IBA Senior World Championship. Two-time quarter finalist in 2021 and 2017, both at the light welterweight limit. Completing his set by taking silver in 2017, so four sets of continental medals. Here he is. World Championship silver. Final check of the equipment from the referee. So he pulled both boxes together. Okay, guys, watch your head. No punches, back, no no blow, no holding. National draw for good luck. So, Luca, ladies and gentlemen, our fighters are ready. Our judges are ready. Our judges are ready. Dusty D. Gadova! Welterweight action is the gold medal bout between boxers from Uzbekistan and Mongolia. The man scoring with a double jab to the body before being counted upstairs by a jab to the head and then jab to the body. The man in red is Ruslan Abdullayev, just 20 years of age. He's been to be 21 until October from right here in Tashkent. His opponent, 31 years of age, is an orthodox boxer wearing blue and his chin's a red Holding and hitting, digging shots underneath is Abdullayev. Uzbekistan. Out of their full strength complement of 11, nine medalists and seven finalists. Inspired by the home fans, they put on a magnificent display so far. Bartasi, part of the 10 man Mongolian team, two quarter finalists, both of them making it through to the medal stages, but he is that man who is the only Mongolian finalist. So at least World Championship silver for him, but the experienced operator, he's a two-time Olympian having represented Mongolia in Rio 2016 and Tokyo 2021. Oh, that's a nice right up the turned in the knees by the Goliath to maintain the front foot pressure and back his man, man up. But Bartosu is aware of that. Jabs his man to the body and then a spearing one two through the defenses. Left hook around the corner wasn't too far away. Good right hand to the body from Abdullayev, but that's countered by a left jab to the body from Bartosu. Educated right hand over the top after he came behind the range, finding left jab. Bartosu finding his range very effectively. There's a left hook on an upward trajectory from Abdullayev. Looking to maintain the pressure. Solid left hand landed once again. Bartosu claims his man, but feeling that, sensing that he was close to the confinement to the corner. Bartosu's his man back out to the space of the center. Abdullayev, always looking to apply pressure. Beautiful work with the left hand, but then a good right hand down the middle from Bartosu, followed by a straight left. Jolting left jab. The first shot of that trade off from Abdullayev. But Bartosu cancelled during the exchange.
far away with the defensive blocks. The lie of trying to think, feint his way into his own punching range. A slight height disadvantage. You see tucking up before pulling the trigger. The right punch, the body landed by Bartosu. Then twined at center ring. Right hand around the corner is a scoring shot. Was countered by a left hand through the middle from Abdullayev, but a very composed round of boxing from Chinzarig Bartosu during the first three minutes. Now, I think he's done an outstanding job during the course of that three minutes. Bartosu, make no mistake, it was a brisk start by Abdullayev. This one could well be split, but which way will it go? Bartosu with some really eye-catching work, but that was typical of the first round. Both boxes landing effectively, but how about that for a right uppercut? And there was effective work dug into the body by Bartosuk as well. Again, cracking right cross landed. Abdullayev always looking to answer, but the crisper work in that, in that round for my money came from this man. So what will the IBA live scoring reveal? Well, it's a 4-1 split in favor of Abdullayev. So into the second round we go. Ruslan Abdullayev, the reigning Asian continental gold medalist. 63 and a half kilograms on the front foot, finding a home for that right hand once again. Bartosuk. Good work to the body, ending with a scoring right cross. Didn't have much potency on it, but there's a terrific reverse one too. The left hand from Abdullayev, snapping the head back of Bartosuk, and then he lands a right hand with Bartosuk trapped against the ropes. Bartosuk aware that he had just conceded a portion of the round as he takes a straight right hand to the body, counter with the left hand to the body of his own. But that is why he claimed his man and waltzed him back to centre ring. Bartosuk, the more eye-catching opening minute to this second round. Excuse me, Abdullayev with the more eye-catching opening in the first minute of this second round. And he's always applying pressure, is Abdullayev. And then exchanging shots once again, because even when he's not letting his hands go, his presence as he digs the shot downstairs to the body, he's always in punching range, feet are always set, and there's a beautiful counter left hook. Counter right hand over the top comes back from Bartosuk. But this had been a brilliant first half of the round for Abdullayev, who took the first round on a 4-1 split. For my money, Bartosuk perhaps a little bit unlucky not to get more of that first round. Bartosuk landing with a good left-right combination. Then a left jab gets through, which came behind a right cross. Peppering his man with punches during that portion of the round is Bartosuk. But Abdullayev again applying pressure with his presence and forward motion. Good work to body and head from Bartosuk before the clinch ensued. Left hand to the body was a scoring shot. Abdullayev didn't fully commit to the second one. First and third boxing from Bartosuk during that trade-off. Forearms landed by Abdullayev. Inside the final minute of this second round, beautifully picked right cross from Abdullayev. And again, he's always there. Bobbing, weaving, but he's always seemingly in punching range. But you run the risk because he's such a good combination puncher that if you let your own hands go, you're likely to be counted immediately. And as he's demonstrated with his right cross, if you fire a hook, you may well get beaten to the punch by his impressive shot selection. Good burst of punches to the body from Bartosu. And then a counter crisp right hand once again from Abdullayev. He drops beneath the left elbow to slam in a right hand. And then a right hand over the top. Checks the chin of Bartosuk, but he's got sturdy punch resistance. Let me tell you, I've commentated on this man in rings all around the world over the course of his glittering career. You seldom see him shaken up. But of course, the best chins in boxing are the ones that don't get hit. And his was found rather repeatedly during the course of that second three-minute round. But again, Bartosuk competitive. Conceded the first on a 4-1 split with Bartosuk when I thought he perhaps deserved more of it. But if you consider that, I thought he was very much in this round, but I thought Abdullayev with punch picking like that had the better of it. 
So how will the judges score the second round? Remember, it was 4-1 in favor of Abdullayev, and it's a 3-2 split. So because of the distribution of scores, that means we've got three scorecards of 19 points apiece, which means that by getting a 3-2 split in the second round, or by taking two of the five scores in the second round, Bartosuk has got himself right back into this contest. It's all going to come down to the final three minutes in this battle for light welterweight gold because it's 19 points apiece for judges one, four, and five. Now, of those three tied scores, Abdullayev only needs one of them because he's trailing, he's leading 20 points to 18 for judges two and five. Body shots exchange, but then you see having the final word with that success with the left hand is Abdullayev. And that's just straight competitiveness. It's not always that simple, of course, but some boxers adopt the mindset, if you hit me once, I'm going to hit you twice, and thereby feel that they will win that exchange. But of course, you have to take in things like the impressiveness of the punch in terms of the weight of it, which shot was the heavier. A single power-driving haymaker can sometimes be favored over 10 featherlight scoring jabs but of course that wasn't the case in computer scoring during the iba era of computer scoring that's not where we are now but again those are the kinds of existential discussions that take place in the sport of boxing approaching the halfway stage of this final round and speaking of going in search of get back the great Roy Jones Jr. Val Barker trophy winner in Seoul 88 for the best boxer of the Olympics despite coming away with silver, the most stylish boxer of the Olympics to be precise. He says you hit me once as Abdullayev gets through the right uppercut but was counted by Bartosu. He says you hit me once, I'm coming back looking for six or seven. And that is the mentality of the men and women who step into the road to arena of the boxing ring. And again, terrific exchange, but Abdullayev looking to continue his front foot advance, digging away to the body. It's a really an untidy entanglement. The referee from Italy, Mr. Luca Vadalonga, content to try and let them work away, but ultimately had to intervene. One, two attempted by Abdullayev, was countered by a single from Bartosu. And despite being just 20 years age, I think of age, I think this is a really clever display from Abdullayev because look, he's spoiling, he's holding, he's killing the clock. Every time he comes inside, prevents the man from working away well. Intimating to the ref that he's not the guilty party, but all of this, no punches being scored. And remember, Abdullayev only needs to convince one of judges, one, four, or three, that he has taken the round. So, it's risky. But with the 10 second clapper sounding, I think it's clever because he's probably done enough to edge this third and final round. But has he edged it? For the right observers. Well, it's a tight contest, that one. But I think given the state of the scores, as the fans take the light, delight in seeing themselves up on the Jumbotron, I think the man in red is going to be crowned as world champion here. A contest that was in the balance because this man edged his way back into it to make it 19 points apiece on three of the five scorecards. I think Abdullayev demonstrated experience that belies his 20 years because he spoiled an awful lot in that third and final round while doing just enough to probably keep the judges happy. It's been a clever display and for what it's worth, I think the man in red is going to be declared the victor here. Nervous moments for the boxers while we await the official verdict to find out who is going to be crowned as the IBA 63 and a half kilogram light welterweight champion of the world. They'll be replaying the bout in their minds. Could I have done more? I think that man will be bedeviled by that type of doubt because he allowed this man to spoil and hold and maul during the course of the final three minutes. Let's get the verdict. Ladies and gentlemen, your 
championship matchup in your elite men's 63 and a half kg light welterweight division comes to a close after being three three minute rounds in a championship bout. This bout was between Uzbekistan and Mongolia. We go to the judges' scorecards where all your judges see it the same way. Ruling in favor of your winner by points, declared by unanimous decision. To the right corner, he is a salute to the fans in the stands, followed by a roar of celebration from Ruslan Abdullayev. This incredibly talented 20-year-old has just claimed top spot on the medal podium in the 63 and a half kilogram light welterweight division in his first appearance at an IBA senior world boxing championships. The continental king becomes the global kingpin. Six contests out of six, and it wasn't easy because he had to beat experienced figures all the way, including the 10th ranked boxer of the, in the world, Lunis Hamrui, the 2022 European Championship silver medalist at the quarter-final stage. Then at the semi-final stage, he outpointed the formidable figure of Havanis Batchkov, the tournament number one seed and second ranked boxer in the world, consigning him to his fourth world championship bronze. And then here in the gold medal bout, he has eliminated Chinzarik Bartasuk. He comes away with a silver medal and 100,000 US dollars, but to the victor, the spoils. And Ruslan Abdullayev is the world champion in the 63 and a half kilogram light welterweight division. What a tournament. What a performance as we take a look at some of the images from that gold medal bout contest where he got his nose in front. Even though it was tied up for three of the five judges, a little bit of an elbow on the follow through there. But that's testament to the man's experience despite being just 20. The Asian under 22 champion, the Asian senior champion becomes the world senior champion to the conclusion of six magnificent performances here at Tashkent 2023. What a tournament he's had.